and there's some keys that I'm going to talk about. But before I get started, I really want you to get grounded. I really, really want you to open your mind, open your heart, open your soul to what we're going to be talking about today. Because it's not only about, you know, our feelings, our thoughts and what, how we think, how we feel, but it requires some action as well. So I really want you to get specific of that thing that you want to manifest. Get really clear. You can just, just think about what that is. Is it more money? Is it a partner? Is it a new job? Is it to uh, a business, launch a, launch a business, take your business to the next level and scale it? What is that thing? More clients, more sales, a, a child, more children. What is that thing? Because it's critical and fundamental to be able to manifest what you desire. And for those who don't know me, my name is Charisma Arrow. I'm a next level mentor, next level breakthrough mentor for women like yourself who are ready to scale their business on their own terms without sacrificing their soul. And I help them to break through feeling stuck around money so that they can earn, receive, and attract more of it while fully aligned to prosperity, power, and pleasure. So welcome to day one. You've probably heard about, obviously, the law of attraction from The Secret, the movie The Secret, many, many years ago. And this sort of brought the revolution and the awareness of this law of attraction. Even though the law of attraction is just one of 12 laws of the universal laws that God has put into place to govern this universe as we know it, right? But the law of attraction became very popular through the movie The Secret. And ever since it's become like mainstream in terms of really ramping up your, your belief system, ramping up your manifestation, co-creating your life and, and what you desire it to be by using the assistance of the law of attraction. The thing is, is that we're always manifesting. Every day we're manifesting. When we wake up, we're manifesting. When we're sleeping, we're manifesting. Whether that's subconsciously or subconsciously or consciously, we are always manifesting. And today what I want to focus on is a deliberate manifestation, which is when you set the intention to manifest a particular thing, that you know what it is, you've gotten clear, you know all the specifics, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And how do you manifest that in your life and bring into your your experience, the experience that you're having right now? Now you've probably, you know, heard that thoughts become things and that like attract like, because that's what the law of attraction is. That's like attract like. So whether that's negative or positive, the more you focus on the negative you will attract more of that negative thing. Or when you focus on the positive, you create a snowball of positive experiences, right? So it's important that we that certain things are lined up. So whether that's your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, what you focus on is critical when it comes to manifestation. Now, you've probably asked the universe, God, you've prayed, you've meditated for whatever that thing is, more money, more more clients, more sales, whatever that thing you've asked and nothing is happening. So here are two things before we get into what manifestation is and how it works. Here are two things that that may be blocking you from your manifest and keeping your manifestation from not working. One is, is that when we ask for something, right, we're coming from a place of lack. And when you come from a place of lack, it's impossible for the law of attraction to work in 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 coincide coincidence coincidental with the universe got tongue tied there for a minute so if you're coming from a place of lack meaning okay you say you want more money which means you have an awareness that you don't have enough money or you want more to come in if you have hundred dollars in your bank account you have a thousand or whatever that amount may be but you desire you want more that's coming from a place of lack and when we come from that place of lack we're telling the universe that we don't have it and when we say that that means we're going to get more of that lack so that's one thing or one reason why you may have been trying to manifest more money or whatever that thing is more clients 
and your focus is on what you don't have and it doesn't it hasn't shifted you still have the same amount of money or you have no money or you have the same amount of clients and there are less clients or, or whatever that thing is it is maybe because you may be coming from a place of lack and when you become come from a place of lack it makes it very difficult to manifest more of the thing that you desire so that's one reason second thing is unbelief do you really believe that you can receive more money more clients the soulmate that you desire the husband the partner that you desire do you truly believe that it's possible for you right so if you're coming from a place of unbelief that you truly don't believe that this is possible for you that you truly don't believe that it's available to you already then it's going to make it very challenging and very difficult for it to be manifested into your life into your current reality into your experience so that you can actually feel touch smell it whatever that thing so those are two things so before we get into it I want you to start thinking of that one thing that you desire to manifest or you've been trying to manifest and it hasn't been working and do a check have I been coming from a place of lack have I or have I been coming from a place of unbelief right so either of those two two things I mean there are many other reasons that it's possible it could be holding it back but two things that I want you to be aware of is lack, coming from a place of lack, and number two, unbelief. Because those two things will trip you up every single time you try to manifest something and it's not happening. So, I really want you to take time now to think about that. Take a moment, like I said, this is all about being interactive, being engaging, and share with me below in the comments if you think it's either from a place of lack or from a place of unbelief that your manifestation has not actually happened like, and that could have been one of the things that's preventing it from manifesting so what does manifestation mean manifestation means simply is to bring something into your current reality now Everything that we desire, everything that we can think about, imagine, or visualize is already available to you. It's already available to us. It's already in existence. Not in this earthly realm, I maybe mean, not necessarily be in this earthly realm, but it's already available to you. So manifestation is taking it from that realm that it's, it's in and bringing it into this earthly realm so that you can feel it, touch it, taste it, hug it, love it, whatever, experience it, right? That is simply what manifestation is. And <clears throat> the law of, of attraction is used as a tool, as a, a channel to really bring that thing which already exists already into this present reality. So that it become a thing. Like for example, so here's my lipstick, right? Now this lipstick existed in that realm, that spiritual realm, when the individual, this is by Ramel, and whoever came up with the, the idea, the concept for painting your lips in different colors, someone had to come up with it. They had to imagine it, that the lips could be different colors and it would create different moods for different occasions, right? Way back when someone came up with the idea, they imagined it, that they there was a need for it, whether it was for pleasure or to solve a problem, someone came up with a concept for lipstick to create a product where you could paint your lips for ladies to paint their lips, right? So that was first available that was created that was imagined and that was created in that spiritual realm that next level okay but in order now for that now to become a product that you can feel it and i can experience it 
right? Putting it on my lips. And it can be sold through a business as a product for women, right? So now this is the actual thing that was once a thought in that spiritual realm is now in existence in our physical environment, in this physical, as we know it, this, this earth that we are living on, okay? So, do you understand? It first had the, it was first a thought and a concept without it being in existence on this earth that you can actually feel it and touch it and experience it. And then some work went into actually bringing this into existence. Okay? The packaging, the color, the creation of the actual lipstick, all the ingredients that goes into the lipstick itself to create the pigment of the colors and so on. Now, this is my favorite color. You see me wear this red all the time. It's my favorite color. And so today, we want to talk about what you want to bring into this existence, or what you've been trying to manifest into your current reality. And what is that thing? Now, there are some steps that we're going to go through. So really, manifestation is simply bringing that thing that we, you think about, you imagine, or you desire into this physical reality, right? So that you can experience it. That's all manifestation is. And people like to overcomplicate over what manifestation is, but that is simply, at very simple terms, that is what it is. And it's all about what you focus on. So whether you focus on the positive or the negative, like what I said in the beginning, you will manifest it. You're always manifesting. Whether you like it or not, whether you're aware of it or not, you are always manifesting. But today we're talking about intentionally co-creating and manifesting your desires and bringing those into your current reality. So how does manifestation work? Manifestation work with truly getting clear on what you want and aligning those thoughts, those feelings, those emotions towards that thing and taking the inspired action to facilitate the manifestation of that thing. It's not going to fall out of the sky. It's not going to just, the sky going to open up and it's going to drop down a load of cash or the soulmate. It doesn't happen that way, right? It, it's used, it's, there's different channels. So it always comes through an, another person. And, you know, you may need another person to help you take the inspired action to sort of co-create whatever that thing is. So if it's money, you're clear on what you want. It may be packaging up certain products or services, et cetera, et cetera. We'll get into that in a little bit. But simply... Manifestation works by really aligning your thoughts, your emotions, what you want, getting clear on it, and a number of things into alignment to manifest that thing. So, step number one in manifesting anything that you want is to get clear on what you want. What is it you want? The challenge with manifestation is that when we're not clear and specific on what we desire or we want to bring into our lives, there's challenges. We get something that we don't want or something that we don't get what we want, right? So I want you to ask yourself these questions. And I'm going to leave this for, as I'm going to repeat these questions at the end as an exercise for you to go away with at the end of the day. But I want to bring these questions to you now. One is, do I really believe in my heart of hearts that I can receive this thing? Do you really believe? I know I talked about belief earlier as being one of the blocks. But do you really believe that you can receive the money or you can manifest the money that you desire? And secondly, how much money? What how much money do you want? I'm going to use money because it's very popular. And that's one of the things that 
people find it very cha challenging to manifest money more so than anything else it's money so let's use money as an example you say you want more money how much money do you want are you clear on that amount is it a hundred dollars is it a thousand dollars is it ten thousand dollars how much money do you desire to manifest in your life? Be specific. Get very specific. Next question is, how will I benefit from having this money or from having this thing? How will it help you? You know, you just don't want the money just for having the money's sake. Money needs a purpose, right? So how will it benefit you? And the next question is, when I think about having this money, so let's say... You want a thousand dollars so when i think about having a thousand dollars how does it feel when i have this thousand dollars how's it going to benefit me how does it make me feel to already have this this thousand dollars and next is will it be good for me and for others and we always want to ask from a place of it being good for yourself, for your highest good, and for others. Because you don't want to take from someone else, or you don't want to, you know, it to be a manifestation that's going to harm someone else, or even harm yourself. Is it for the greatest good and the highest good for you and for others? So those are some questions that I really want you to ponder and think about when you're getting specifically clear on what you want so if it's money how much money do you want why do you want it how's it going to feel when you have it and is it for your greatest good for your higher self and for others right so those are four questions that's going to be a takeaway from today and i'm going to repeat those at the end of this okay so really get clear on what you want so that's number one get clear on what you want number two is to ask for it ask the universe for it you know i was raised in a christian church christian upbringing and everything i was very active um in church throughout my entire life and really to develop a, a love and a relationship with god and i still have that today and what we were taught was all you do is pray you just pray you get on your knees and you tell god what you wanted now that's good and we do have to pray and we should be praying on a regular basis not only asking for what we want but for thanksgiving etc etc but the only thing i would say the challenge with that is that there's more to it than just praying right there's more to it than just saying, I want money. God help me, send me some money. Because God doesn't know exactly, I mean, he knows all things, but we have to be specific. We have to ask for what you want. So this comes back to being specific and asking for what you want. There is a passage, in, there's a quote in the Bible that says, you know, knock on the door shall be open. Ask and you shall receive. So you have to be, you have to ask for it. And when you're asking for it, you have to be specific. Okay? Be specific of what you want. Write down all the details. How's it going to make you feel when you have this thing? And, I, and then tomorrow we're going to be talking about the next level of embodiment. But for the today, we want to talk about how to manifest anything that you want. Number three, as I mentioned, is being specific. It's not, it's not enough to ask for it. You have to be specific. So this is critical. And I'm sure you have stories and I have stories that we can share when we've asked for something and we weren't specific. And what we received was far from what we desire to receive. And it wasn't that it was better than what you wanted it was not as good as what you wanted and the thing is is when you ask for it you should always say you want this thing or something better 
because God knows and the universe knows and he set the universe in in place to govern this whole universe he set the laws these laws right to govern the universe so when you are asking be specific and I can't stress this enough be specific on what you want what you're asking for and ask for it so that when you ask for it you know exactly what you desire and when you ask for it don't come from a place of lack well I don't have this so I need more you have you come from a place of abundance of already having the thing of already being grateful for having the money the partner the new home the ability to work when where wherever you know being grateful and it's very very critical now some people think as I mentioned that when we say we're clear on what we want it's just gonna fall out the sky no aligned inspired action is required so when you get dedicated and when you're specific with what you want and you take the time to meditate and you've prayed and you've asked and you tap into that thing and how it's going to feel and how is it going to make your life better etc 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 there are aligned inspired actions that are required to achieve that goal to manifest that desire into your life it's not just going to happen just like that even miracles miracles you know happen all every day all the time but there's still some things on our part on your part that you have to do that you have to get clear on what is that aligned action that I need to take to facilitate to manifest that desire and you can ask God universe show me what my part is I am open and willing to do my part to manifest this money this thousand dollars to manifest this ten thousand dollars to manifest the soul partner to manifest more clients more sales whatever that thing is show me guide me bring to my awareness what that step or steps are required to co-create this into my existence simple and you will receive the guidance you will receive the inspired actions that you need to take to bring into existence number four is all about sorry number five is all about trust that it's going to happen although it's already done it's not enough to be specific it's not enough to take inspired action but believing and trusting that it's already done and sometimes we can put a date when we want a certain thing you know you want to manifest money more money or a thousand dollars by May 31st but what happens when May 31st comes and you don't get the thousand dollars you don't receive the thousand dollars you there's no it hasn't showed up in any way possible are you going to believe and feel that it hasn't worked are you going to believe and continue to trust that it's on its way that it's already done in a spiritual realm maybe there is a situation maybe there's someone in that's part of this whole manifestation because you know we humans are used as part of it right just like when you order something from Amazon it's just not gonna fall out the sky because you place an order it has to be delivered by a human being someone has to deliver it to your door right so because it hasn't shown up at a specific time it doesn't mean that it's not on its way so keeping the faith and keeping the trust that it's already done and it's on its way it's very very important to manifest anything that you desire number six is to receive and acknowledge your gratitude so before you get the thousand dollars before you actually feel it before you actually see it in your bank account or in your PayPal account 
practice and acknowledge with gratitude for receiving it, that you've already received it. Because gratitude is important. Gratitude is showing that you've appreciated, that you've already thanking God and the universe for manifesting this thing, money, the thousand dollars, or the soul partner, or the clients. Acknowledge with gratitude and appreciation. And number seven is raising your vibration. Now this is critical because when we're manifesting something and we're coming from a place of lack and negativity, it's really, really challenging to foresee or to facilitate that manifestation. Because when you're coming from that place of negativity, of lack, of frustration, of doubt, it will hinder your manifestation. It will delay your manifestation. So every day you wake up and you're believing for this thousand dollars to be manifested. You've taken the aligned action, your part. You're doing your part. We all have to do our part, right? Keep your vibrations high so that you will continue to be a vibrational match for the thousand dollars, for the partner, for whatever that thing is. Keep your vibration high. Be thankful, meditate, think, you know, do something positive. Stay in the higher realm of positivity to maintain and to facilitate your manifestation. Number eight, it's all about clearing your blocks. <clears throat> now, you've probably heard me list all the seven things and you're probably starting to think, well, how am I, how is this thing going to happen? Hmm. What would this person say? What would my partner say? What would my cousin say? What would my mother say? Whomever about me manifesting this thing? Those are blocks. You started to churn that negative doubt and fear of what will happen if you don't receive it, what will happen if you do receive it, and those become blocks. So blocks can show up in people, places, and things. And it's okay for them to show up because now you have the opportunity to really clear those blocks out so that they don't become a stumbling block in receiving what you desire. So right now, I want you to think and list some of the blocks that you may be, th be coming up for you right now, maybe being whispered in your, in your mind, or some things that you believe about yourself that may prevent and, and sort of create a challenge for you to manifest whatever you desire. What are those blocks? Is it what you keep saying to yourself that you're not worthy? You know, it's not going to happen for you. It happens for other people. All of those things are blocks. Negative emotions are blocks. Being a people pleaser and listening to someone who says, well, who do you think you are to desire such a thing? That becomes a block. So there are many different blocks and many different levels. And the key is to become aware of what those blocks are so that you can shift those blocks, reframe those limiting beliefs, so that now they become an ally in assisting you to manifest. So that's eight points, <clears throat> or eight steps, I should say. So I'm just gonna go over the eight steps. Number one is to be clear on what you want. That's number one. Number two is to ask the universe for it. And you can ask in different ways. You can pray, you can meditate, you can journal it, visualize it. There's different ways to, to ask for what you want. Number three is be specific. Number four is to take steps. Take the aligned, inspired steps. Number five is to trust and have the faith that it's already done, even though you may not see it by the time that you want it. Believe, keep the faith and trust that it's already done and know that it's going to show up in perfect timing. 
Because you don't know everything. God knows everything, right? He knows that, okay, maybe May 31st is not the ideal time for it to show up for whatever reason. You have to be aware. You have to know and have such confidence that the higher intelligence knows what's best and knows what's going on. Unless <clears throat> some of these challenges that I've spoken about is a playing a role in the manifestation not showing up at a particular time. Number six is all about receiving and acknowledging with gratitude. Number seven is raise your vibration. Not, not only raise it the day you decide or you set the intention, every day keep your vibrations high. Continue to raise your vibration. Stay in a state of expectation, expecting it to show up. Not expecting that's not going to happen, right? And number eight is about clearing out the blocks and the resistances because we ourselves create resistance to receive those things that we desire on different levels. It comes from, you know, not feeling worthy enough or, you know, like I said, listening to naysayers or people that are around you, naysayers who tell you you don't deserve to have those things. Or you may feel that you're not worthy of it yourself. Or you may be feeling resistance to doing the work. There's always a level of work or degree of work of action that we have to do. We have to do our part. This is all about co-creation. And co-creation is that we have a part to play. God and the universe will take care of the rest. We have to be specific, get clear, do all the other steps, and do our part. And keep the faith and keep believing that it is already done and it's just a matter of time that you will experience it in your physical reality. So I'm going to wrap this up by going back to the questions. And this is your homework for today. The questions are, when you decide on what you want, is, do I really want this? in my heart of hearts. Do I really want a soul partner, a life partner? Do I really? Do I really want more clients? Do I really need, do I really want another 10 to 20 clients, really? I'm, you know, you may be saying, I'm already stressed with the 10 that I have right now. Do I really want more? But you're saying that you want more clients, but deep down inside of you, you do really want more clients, at least not that number of clients. So the first question to answer and truly answer from a place of, from the heart, is do I really want it? Number two is how will I benefit from having this? How will I benefit from having the $1,000, the $10,000, $100,000, having more clients, having the sole partner, having a new home? Because all of these things come res with responsibility. Right? So how will I benefit from it? Is it going to make my life better? Is it? And when I think about having this thousand dollars or whatever that thing is, how do I feel? Does it feel good? Does it make me feel good? Does it make me feel excited to have it? And the final question is, how will it be good for me and for others? Is it for my highest good? And is it for the highest good around others? Is it for the greater good for others? Is it going to punish someone? Is it going to take from someone? Is it going to be the greatest good for you and for others? So those are four questions that I want you to take away from this day one challenge of the next level manifestation. Where we're talking about today is how to manifest anything that you want. And today we've covered eight steps to manifest anything that you want. So tomorrow, day two, we're going to be talking all about embodiment. Embodying that version of yourself who already has that thing. And also, before we go, I want to talk about <clears throat> the Next Level Manifestation Academy which kicks off June 1st. It's four weeks, and I, I use this interchangeably, four weeks, 30 days, 
right? Of really sitting in a place where you're being supported to take your manifestation to the next level. What I'm sharing with you today and over the next couple of days is just a taste. In this sacred container of the Next Level Manifestation Academy, you will be supported not only by myself, but by the others in the group, very small group I'm calling in, to manifest that thing that you desire. And there's a small investment. Uh, June is my birthday, so normally it would be would have been nine 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 US paid in full with payment plan, but I'm offering a very small, very very small and special offer of three hundred and thirty three dollars paid in full, of three payments, three biweekly payments of one one one, so one hundred and eleven dollars. You will come away feeling supported you will be on the right track to manifesting that thing. We're gonna focus on one thing for the 30 days to really ramp up your manifestation, your belief, kick the limiting beliefs to the curb and really become a super manifestor. You deserve it, you're worthy of everything that your heart desires. And it's all about being intentional about what you want and going about co-creating it and manifesting it into your life. That is the difference of just, you know, going with the whim, whatever happens, happens, versus being specific, being intention about what you want and bringing it into your life with, with a practice that's you is repeatable that you can apply to anything in your life. So whether that's money, whether that's a partner, whether that's a new home, whether that's more clients, more customers, whatever that thing is, it is a practice that you will anchor in, into your life, into your subconscious, and you can apply it to anything. And in the 30 days, we're gonna focus on that one thing that you desire to manifest. And I would love for you to join me like I said, it's a small investment and it makes a difference when you invest in yourself, right? So it's three, 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 paid in full. And when you're paying in full, you would, one of the bonuses for paying in full is you would get a 45 minute private session with me where I will take it to the next level and really support you privately in addition to the support in the group or the three other payment plan, <clears throat> excuse me, where it's three times one, one, one. Okay, so I hope that this has served you and it's giving you some thought, some aha moments, something to take away, something to look forward to doing for the next couple of days. And I'm just going to scroll down here and look at the comments and see here. So Gloria says, let's see. So Gloria says, I am I'm a promoter of high quality services and products. I want to manifest popularity as the expert and a thousand dollar monthly income. Okay. Since January, I've received what I manifested. Doubt is a block for me if something doesn't manifest. Okay. All right, Gloria. So Gloria said that she's manifested what she's received, what she manifested. And that um, doubt is one of the things. Yes, doubt. Like I said, you got to keep the faith and you got to keep trusting and you got to keep believing that it's already done. So I hope that you can join me tomorrow for day two of the next level manifestation challenge. I look forward to seeing you there. I look forward to seeing you in the 30 day um, academy as well. The next level, next level manifestation academy. So until tomorrow, remember, dare to be iconic in business and life. Bye for now.